There are a few things about iOS 7 that I found I needed to know right away and I wondered about. So I thought I'd share this with you to help you in your iOS 7 discovery. Now the first thing that I wanted to do was search. And I tried to push my apps off to the side and I wondered where my search was. Usually it appears off from the left. But that's changed on iOS 7. Now all you need to do is take one finger and swipe down. So you can swipe down and there's your search. Now I was searching for Peppa, as in Peppa Pig, and you can see that it's brought up all of the television shows that we purchased on iTunes for our little girl. And what's interesting about this is that these are not television shows that are on the iPad, but television shows that I purchased. And because I'm connected via iCloud, it knows that these are available for me to watch and um, I can download them with one tap. So let's just have a look at going to one. It brings me into television programs and as you can see here I can just one tap download any of these episodes directly from the cloud. So that's one thing that I really like about the search is that it's just one finger swiping in the middle and it brings you to the search but it also searches iTunes for anything that you've purchased off of iTunes. So let's change that to something different like Adobe. And you can see that oh, we have a couple different things from Adobe there. Um, these are a few apps, Adobe Reader, Adobe Nav, Adobe Ideas, Photoshop Touch. I quite like Adobe Ideas. And you can go directly to Adobe Ideas and draw. So we're gonna use five finger pinching to go back to our home screen, which is the same as in iOS 6. And again, instead of pushing everything off to the right and looking for search, you just one finger swipe anywhere in the middle of the screen and it'll bring you to search. Now, you can tap on the outside, it'll disappear. Now, there's a few other things that are very handy to know. One is notification center. If you swipe down from the top of the screen onto the iPad, notification center will come up. You have the date, you have your current weather and your location, and you have what's going on in your calendar today. There's also a little bit about tomorrow. There's one event scheduled for 9 o'clock tomorrow. And um, seeing as we're late in the day, uh, there's no, no information here in my calendar. And these are notifications. You can swipe across and get calendar notifications and Twitter and messages and FaceTime and mail notifications. You can swipe across and see whether you've missed any calls, which I haven't. So Notification Center is, again, just pull it down from the top and you can get all of your notices in one spot. Now, if you swipe up from the bottom of your screen, you get Control Center, which enables you to manage your volume and play and pause and forward items. You can AirPlay directly to an Apple TV or AirPlay enabled device, you can turn your screen brightness up and down. You can go directly to Countdown, which is a timer, or to Camera, which uh, will enable you to take a photograph or video. You can also do some things that are very handy and you used to have to go to Settings for. You can one-tap Airplane Mode, which cuts you off of any signals. It takes you off of Wi-Fi networks, Bluetooth, and um, essentially leaves your device standalone without sending or receiving any information. You can manually turn off your Wi-Fi. You can turn off your Bluetooth. You can say do not disturb or mute the iPad. And I'm going to leave those two off and I am going to turn Bluetooth and Wi-Fi back on. And you can see that that's very quick, whereas before you used to have to go to settings and manage those items, whereas now one finger up from the bottom, and you have all of these options. Brilliant. Now the other thing that you'll wonder is where's my multitasking bar, which are all of the apps that are currently open. Before, you would either have to four finger swipe up or double click on your home button uh, on your iPad, the little circular button. I'm gonna use the multitasking gesture, which is four fingers swipe up and it gives me all of the apps that are currently open. So last opened was Adobe Ideas, which I just showed you. There's the Peppa Pig television show. There's the camera. 
Um, there's the timer, which I've been to recently. There's my settings. You can see you get a preview and the app. And you'll wonder how to close these. Usually you would hold on them and wait for them to start wiggling and close them in iOS 6. But in iOS 7, all you need to do is flick, and that app is closed. You can flick, close the timer, flick, close your camera. And if you're ready to go to any particular app, you can just tap on it and go directly to that app and go for it. You can, of course, still four-finger swipe from the side to side and move between your apps. So I'm just using four fingers and I'm swiping side to side between my apps. And as I mentioned before, you can five finger pinch and shrink your app down. So uh, recap, swipe down in the middle for search, swipe down from the top for your notification center, swipe up from the bottom for control center, which are all your fancy tools, four fingers up for multitasking bar, all the apps that are running currently, or you could double click the little circular button that's on the side of your iPad to get this same interface and flick them to close. A couple of the more important features of iOS 7 that you want to know just to be able to get around. Thanks for watching and visit us at iPadFamily.com.au.